Hello! Uh, this is a new angle. I'm still working out angles for my videos to see what works best. This seems okay. We'll go with this for now. And welcome to this video! Uh, this is my fall TV schedule of 2017, where I tell you all the shows that I'm going to be watching during this new fall season. Now, I have a lot of TV shows, so we're going to get started right away because I've got 30 TV shows to tell you about. 30! I don't know how I'm going to do it, but we're going to try. So let's start with Sunday. And the first show that I'll be watching on Sunday is Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers is going into its eighth season. Bob's Burgers is basically a half hour comedy adult cartoon show about a family the dad owns a burger shop and it's his wife and he's got three kids and all the shenanigans that they get into. What's so great about the show is you don't have to watch every single episode to be able to catch up and to be able to understand what's going on. So I'm super excited about this show. It is premiering October 1st on Fox at 7.30pm. Next on Sunday is The Orville. Uh, this is a new one hour comedy show starring Seth MacFarlane, and it's kind of like a comedy version of Star Trek, at least that's what I'm getting from the trailers. So I'm very excited about this uh, new comedy, and I hope it turns out really well. It is not really going to be airing on Sundays, it's really going to be airing on Thursdays at 9pm on Fox, but I have it in Sunday because it is premiering on Sunday, September 10th on Fox. But once uh, September 21st comes around, that's when it starts going to Thursdays at 9. The next show is Ghosted. And this is another brand new show coming to Fox. It does look funny, so I want to give it a chance. Usually half hour comedies don't go well with me. Most of the time they end up being stupid, but I'm hoping this one will be good. This show is starring Craig Robinson and Adam Scott and it is about these two, one of them is like a firm believer in the paranormal, the other is a skeptic, and the government is bringing them together to try and solve this paranormal mystery. So I think that's what it's about, that's what I'm kind of getting from the trailer, and some of the lines in the trailer were really funny, so I'm hoping this show is funny. It is premiering on October 1st on Fox at 8.30pm. Now on to Monday! Monday actually has the most amount of shows. So first on Monday at 8pm we have Dancing with the Stars! It's 25th season. Season 25 everyone. A new cast is going to be revealed on Wednesday, September 6th and I cannot wait to see who's going to be on the show. But if you know me, you know that I just love Dancing with the Stars. It is one of my favorite reality TV shows of all time. I am super excited to go to the live finale showing because I always go to that because I love this show so much. Dancing with the Stars kind of says it in the title. We've got professional ballroom dancers. They get paired up with a celebrity and they have to teach them all different kinds of ballroom dance and it's a competition so once every week someone goes home until they eventually get to the winner and the winner wins the mirror ball trophy. So that is premiering on ABC September 18th at 8pm. Then at 8.30 we have a brand new show called 9JKL. This is going to be a half hour comedy about a guy who I think is like just broken up with his longtime girlfriend or something or maybe it was his fiance, I can't remember. So he moves into this apartment complex where his parents are his neighbors as well as his brother and sister-in-law, and apparently shenanigans happen. It's one of those shows where it seems like it might be stupid, but it might also be good, so I'm gonna give it a shot. So that is premiering on CBS, 8.30 p.m. on October 2nd. At 9 p.m. there are two shows. The first is Valor. This is going to be on the CW. I'm one of those people where I'm going to give every single CW show a chance because they usually surprise me with how much I actually love all of their shows. The only reason I am hesitant about this one is because I usually don't like TV shows that have to do with war. I don't know why, I just can never find them interesting. But it's the CW, so I gotta give it a chance. So this show is kind of about um, this guy and this girl, they had this mission? I don't know what it's called, but this mission in war and their plane ended up crashing and they were the only two to survive, but they lied about the reason that their uh, plane crashed. But then they find out that two of the other people in the plane are now prisoners of war and they have to try and go and save them. 
but it's, yeah, apparently there's gonna be a lot of drama as well, it looks like, from the trailer. This is premiering on The CW on October 9th at 9 p.m. The other show at 9 p.m. is The Gifted, and this is a brand new show coming to Fox. It's about these kids who have, like, superpowers, and the government is trying to take them down. It looks kind of interesting from the trailer, so I'm gonna give it a shot, but also the main girl in it is from the TV show The Goldbergs, and I love the Goldbergs. That show is coming up, we'll talk about it later. She is no longer on the Goldbergs, but now she's on this new show, so I kind of want to watch it because of her as well. So that show is coming to Fox at 9 p.m. on October 2nd. At 9.30 p.m., we have another brand new half-hour comedy called Me, Myself, and I. And this show is starring Bobby Moynihan from SNL, which is one of the main reasons I'm going to watch this show. This show is basically following him at three specific points in his life. One where he's a kid, another where he's, I believe, in his like 30s, 40s, and then another where he's in his like 60s. And it's just kind of like about his life. It looks like it has a really good heart, but it also looks like it could be funny at times. So again, I'm going to give this one a shot and hopefully I like it. But this is premiering on CBS at 9.30 on September 25th, and then on October 30th, it will move to 9 p.m. And the last show for Monday is at 10 p.m. and it is The Good Doctor. The Good Doctor is starring Freddie Highmore, which is honestly the main reason I'm watching it because I really love Freddie Highmore as an actor. And this looks like it's going to be good. Again, I'm usually not into doctor shows either. I'm hoping to give this one a shot. I'm hoping it'll be good because I really do love Freddie Highmore. But Freddie Highmore uh, in this show, he's autistic. And he is like one of the youngest doctors there is, but he is a very good doctor and very good at his job. So, yes, that's that's basically what the show is about. But I'm excited about it. It's a one hour drama on ABC and it is premiering September 25th at 10 p.m. Now we're on to Tuesday. The first show on Tuesday that I will be watching is at 8 p.m. and that is The Flash. I'm so excited. The Flash is going on to season 4. You guys know me, I'm usually not into superheroes, but for some reason TV show superheroes I really like. It's the movie superheroes I tend to not like. I don't know why. The Flash is so great. It also stars Grant Gustin, who I'm in love with. The show has yet to really fall for me, or has yet to really make me want to stop watching it. I am a little bit nervous about what they're going to do with this next season, just because with how the last season ended, I don't know what's going to happen. I just... I don't know. All I know is I want Flash, I want Grant Gustin to just be okay, so <laughs> that's all I want. But if you don't know, this follows um, a guy who ends up getting superpowers where he can run really fast and he calls himself the Flash and he just saves his city from evil. I don't know anything about this season. All I know is it's the Flash, so I know I'm gonna love it. And this is premiering on The CW at 8 p.m. On October 10th. Next for Tuesday at 9 p.m. we've got This Is Us season 2. I just recently watched all of season 1 just last month and I loved it. It is an emotional roller coaster. You gotta have a box of tissues next to you constantly while watching this show because it will break your heart and then put it back together and it is just so... it's a really good emotional drama. It it's very realistic too, which I love about it. it. It just feels so real and so raw, and it's great, and I can't wait for the second season. Uh, again, I've not seen a trailer for the second season, so I don't really know where they're gonna go with the second season, but I just know they're gonna be following the same people. And it is premiering on NBC at 9 p.m. on September 26th. At 9.30 on Tuesday, we've got a brand new half-hour comedy called The Mayor. I'm really excited about this one. I think this is going to be a really good half-hour comedy, and I hope I'm not wrong about that. But this is about a guy who is a rapper, and he's trying to make his name in the rap world. So he decides that he's just going to run for mayor to help promote his album. And he ends up winning. So that just, to me, honestly, seems like a really great concept for a story. I can't wait for this to premiere. And this is premiering on ABC at 9.30 p.m. on October 3rd. And last but not least, at 10 p.m. we have another brand new 
show coming to ABC called Kevin Probably Saves the World. Now I think this is going to be a one hour comedy. I also think it's one of those shows that's going to have some heart to it and it's going to be endearing and it's going to be semi-emotional too. But basically this show is just kind of like about this guy named Kevin and an angel comes down, I believe it's an angel, an angel comes down and gives him a mission from God and he kind of has to go on this mission but he doesn't really want to so it's that kind of comedy. But Jason Ritter is starring it and I absolutely love Jason Ritter. He was on Joan of Arcadia which is one of my favorite shows way back in the day and he was also in the movie Raise Your Voice with Hilary Duff so I just really love Jason Ritter and I'm so happy that he's got his like own TV show so I'm very excited and very happy for him and I hope this show does well. I feel like it's one of those shows where it's a hit or miss, um, so I'm hoping it'll be a hit and not a miss, but we'll see. Now we're on to Wednesday, which is another day where I have the most TV shows. We've got six TV shows to watch on Wednesday. Oh my goodness gracious. So we're starting at 8 p.m. for Wednesdays, and 8 p.m. there are two shows that I will be watching. Number one is Riverdale season two. Season one of Riverdale is so good. It was one of my all-time favorite TV shows for the winter lineup. I was obsessed with Riverdale. I cannot wait for season two, especially with how season one ended. Oh my god. Riverdale is uh, based off the Archie comics, but it takes the Archie comics into a very dark place. And there's a lot of murder, there's some gangs, involved in this town. And let me just say, Betty and Jughead are relationship goals. They are my favorite relationship to ship. <laughs> I love the show and I love the mystery behind it and I love the intrigue and like, ugh. I don't want to give away the ending of the first season, but I just, I'm really nervous for second season because of what how the last season ended. They better not get rid of that character. Mm -mm. That character cannot die, so hopefully that character does not die. I'm just absolutely stoked for season two, and this is probably my most anticipated TV show this fall season. It is, I, I'm just so excited. But it is premiering at 8 p.m. on The CW on October 11th. And the other show at 8 p.m. is The Goldbergs, and it is going into season five. Season five, everybody. It is so Great. This is a half hour comedy on ABC about a family in the 80s and it's based off of a real family that is from the town that I am from. <laughs> but I absolutely love this family. They are hilarious and the shenanigans that they get into. Ugh. It is so great. If you're not watching this show, you need to. It is such a great half hour comedy. So The Goldbergs is premiering at 8 p.m. on ABC on September 27th. Then at 8.30, we have season two of Speechless. And Speechless is another half hour comedy on ABC that's about a family and the shenanigans that they get into. But this family takes place in the modern world and they have a special needs kid. But it stars Minnie Driver, who is phenomenal. And I do not know the actor who plays the dad, but he is great as well. Oh my God, I just, I love this comedy. I'm so happy it got a second season because I thought it was really good. And yeah, so premiering September 27th, 8.30 p.m. on ABC. At 9 p.m. we have a brand new show coming to the CW called Dynasty. And this is kind of a remake of the original. I never watched the original. I have never even heard about it before until I started doing some research on this show. And then I found out it is a remake of this old show. But like I said, it's the CW, so... I'm going to give this show a shot. But what I'm getting from the trailer, it's about this rich, very dysfunctional family where their mom has died and they're getting a stepmom, but the kids are not liking the stepmom. The stepmom's kind of trying to take over their lives and is trying to steal the money or something like that. I don't know, but it's gonna be drama. We'll see, hopefully it goes well, but it is premiering on The CW at 9 p.m. on October 11th. 
Okay, 10 p.m. I've got two shows to talk about and the first one is Designated Survivor. I'm so excited. Designated Survivor is going into its second season. I'm very excited it got a second season because the first season was phenomenal. I remember when I was planning on watching the show, I was like, I don't think I'm really gonna like it as much, but oh my god, it is so good. It is so filled with drama too and I love it. Ugh. But it is about this guy played by Kiefer Sutherland who is basically working in the government and he kind of just got fired but that day they also make him designated survivor and there is a bombing at the capitol where it kills the president the vice president like everyone in the cabinet and like every government official practically but since he was a designated survivor he is now the president of the united states and also they believe that this was a terrorist attack so they're trying to follow that but now there's also like a conspiracy plot to take him down and it's just it's whew, it is a lot at this moment right now I have no idea what the second season is going to be about but with how the first season ended I have a few ideas and theories about where it's gonna go um, but I don't want to talk about that just because I don't want to give away the ending of the first season I'm very excited for where this is possibly gonna go this is premiering at 10 p.m. on ABC September 27th and last but not least, at 10 p.m. we have the Shannara Chronicles, finally! Oh my god, I have been waiting for over a year for the Shannara Chronicles second season. It has been a long time coming, but the Shannara Chronicles premiered on MTV, but it has now been moved to Spike. This is a very heavy sci-fi fantasy show. I can't even explain the concept of this show, but it is based off of a book by Terry Brooks. I just think this show is so well done, especially CGI and cinematography wise. It is so good and probably costs a lot of money, but it is phenomenal and I can't wait for this second season just because the first season was so good. I'm surprised it took this long to get a second season, but oh, I'm so excited. But it is premiering on October 11th on Spike at 10 p.m. Now let's move on to Thursday. There are only three shows. Well, technically four shows because the Orville, like we talked about earlier, will be coming to Thursday. Since we already talked about the Orville, we're going to talk about these other three shows that are on Thursday. First is The Good Place. Ooh, the Good Place finally has a second season, and I'm very excited about this show. The first season was really good, and I have to say the, how it ended, that was like the biggest twist that I did not see coming. I don't know if anyone saw that twist coming, but it's about this girl who dies and gets sent to the good place, but she was not a good person in life, so she's very confused as to why she was sent to the good place instead of the bad place, and then she finds out that there was another person who has the same name as her, who died on the same day as her, who is in the bad place, but was a very good person in life. So. She realizes that they somehow had a mix-up and switched them, but she doesn't want to say anything because she doesn't want to go to the bad place. She really likes the good place. It's good. It's just really funny. It is premiering on September 20th at 10 p.m. for a one-hour special, but after that, it's moving to 8.30. It's regular time on September 28th, and this show is on NBC. And then at 9 p.m., we have two shows. There is Will and Grace. Will and Grace is coming back. Season 9 is coming back, and I'm so excited. This was such a great show when I was growing up. I remember watching it with my mom a couple of times and I loved this show so much. It mainly follows these four people, Will and Jack who are gay and then Karen who is a rich girl who's also very weird and just full of herself, huge ego. And then of course Grace who also lives with Will. She is just trying to find love in this world. But they're all friends and they all just live life together and help each other out and are there through the hard times and the good times and it's just a really great show. So it is premiering at 9 p.m. on NBC September 28th. And last but not least for Thursday we have Arrow. Arrow is going into its sixth season and I'm, I'm excited about it. I just feel like it's been going downhill ever since season three ended. I don't know why, but this is another one of those superhero shows and, and it's just this guy, Oliver Queen, who survived a boat crash, lived on an island for years, was finally found, brought back home, and decided to become a vigilante, and decided to become the Arrow, and save his city from the evil people. 
That's how most superhero plot lines go. And I have no idea what this show is going to do for season six. I've not watched the trailer. I don't really have any theories about what's going to happen in this next season. I don't know who the villain's going to be for this next season. So this is premiering on October 12th on the CW at 9 p.m. All right, now we're going on to Friday. So for Friday, we only have to talk about three shows. And the first one is premiering at 8 p.m. and that is Once Upon a Time. It is going into its seventh season. I am honestly surprised that it has gone on this long. I've been wanting to stop watching it for so long, but for some reason I just can't. I feel like I'm just too invested in it at this point to stop watching it. And it has been going up and down. There's been like some seasons where it wasn't too great, some seasons where it was really great. And the last season, I did enjoy last season. I thought last season did a good job. The only thing is, I am not looking forward to this season. I'm still going to watch it because I'm hoping it'll be good. But I have a strong feeling that it's not. Only three of the main characters from the show are coming back. And that is Regina, Hook, and Rumpelstiltskin. What? <laughs> Why are none of the other characters coming back? Basically, this seventh season is taking place a bunch of years in the future where Henry is all grown up and he has now kind of become the new Emma. Basically, his daughter knocks on his door and is, shows him a book and it's like, you're part of this fairy tale world. You need to save them. But how last season ended, I want to know what happened to all the other characters because that curse happened to every character that was there, every single one. And you're only gonna tell me, show me what happens to three of them? And also it's taking place so many years in the future? No, no, I am not okay with this. Ugh, so we'll see. It is premiering on October 6th at 8 p.m. on ABC. Also at 8 p.m. we have Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Crazy Ex-Girlfriend is going into its third season. I am so excited. This is such a phenomenal show that I feel like still not that many people are talking about and it should be one that everyone is talking about. It is so good and it is so smart and so witty. It follows this woman who moved to California from New York for a guy. She's just trying to get this guy Josh to fall in love with her. She is actually literally quite crazy. It's, it's crazy but it's also so funny and it also has a bunch of musical numbers throughout it that are just phenomenal. And I can't wait for season three, especially with how season two ended. I'm scared to see what she's gonna do next. Ooh. But it is premiering 8 p.m. on The CW on October 13th. And last but not least for Friday at 9 p.m. we have Jane the Virgin. It is going into season four and I love this show. This is another show that I feel like is not getting as much hype as it should because this show is just so good. So this is a one hour comedy drama. It basically plays out like a telenovela and it's about this woman who is a virgin but she gets accidentally artificially inseminated and she finds out like her baby daddy is her boss and she gets into the family and there's like a bunch of other drama that goes on because she's also a catholic it's so good and there's so much drama that happens well, where we are now she is no longer a virgin and the baby has been born but i really hope that this next season jane and raphael come together because i i mean as much as i loved michael so much i loved her and michael but I, I just really love her and Raphael. I'm not really sure where they're gonna go with this next, at least I don't know what the drama is going to be. I can't really remember too much about how the last season ended. I'm assuming they're gonna have more drama with the stepmom. I'm assuming she'll come back along with the sister, Louisa. I'm assuming they'll both come back and create some drama again. So this is gonna be premiering at 9 p.m. on The CW on October 13th. So that is it for like, normal TV. Now we're going to go on to Netflix and Hulu. There are three Netflix shows coming out in this fall that I really want to see. The first one is American Vandal. So it's basically a mockumentary TV series about a senior prank that went wrong and they blame it on this one guy but this guy claims that he didn't do it. It looks funny. It just looks funny. So I, I'm excited for this, but it is coming out on September 15th on Netflix. Next, we have Magic School Bus Rides again, and 
oh my god, I am happy that Magic School Bus is coming back. Magic School Bus was one of those shows that I watched in elementary school. It was one of those shows I think it played on like Saturday mornings or whatever and I loved it. It taught you things but it also was really fun and Miss Frizzle was amazing but I just love that it's such a great learning cartoon kids show. So I'm really happy that Netflix is bringing it back and doing more with it and I'm hoping that they will stay true to the original but we'll see how it goes and I also feel weird that I'm gonna be watching a kids learning show. It's nostalgic for me so I'm gonna watch it and it's premiering on Netflix on September 29th. And then we've also got Stranger Things season 2. Oh my god. So I recently watched Stranger Things this past summer and I cannot believe that I waited as long as I did to watch the show because it's so good. Definitely one of my top favorite shows that I've watched in my life. <laughs> it's so good. It is a little bit scary at times, but that's just because I get scared very easily. <laughs> and I've watched a couple of the scenes like this, like it's, it got scary for me, but it is such a weird concept but it's told so brilliantly well. I cannot wait for the second season and it is premiering on Netflix on October 31st. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about for um, Netflix, I don't think is actually coming out in the fall season, but they said that it might be premiering in the fall season, so this is just kind of like a maybe show that I'm throwing in. Netflix is bringing back Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. If you don't remember Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, oh my god. It was about these like five gay guys that made over a straight guy. That was basically it. Like they would make him over but they would also make over his house and his lifestyle. Like they did everything. It was such a great show so I really hope that Netflix is bringing it back because this is kind of like rumored and they just kind of like said maybe this is happening so I really hope that this has actually happened so I'm putting this as a maybe right now. That's it for Netflix now on to Hulu and there are two shows for Hulu that I'm talking about. The first is I Love You America and this is gonna be a Sarah Silverman not comedy special it's gonna be a very feminist comedy TV show following her around I think there wasn't even really much of a trailer to watch but I actually do like Sarah Silverman's comedy and I've recently been getting into the feminist world <laughs> so I'm gonna I want to give this show a shot and see what it does but it premieres on Hulu on October 12th and the last show that I'm talking about with you guys is the main reason that I am getting a Hulu account and that is the TV show Future Man Future Man is starring my number one all-time celebrity crush, Josh Hutcherson. You all know this. The show is also produced and I believe directed uh, as well by Seth Rogen. And lately the stuff that Seth Rogen has come out with, I absolutely love. I really like Seth Rogen's comedy, so I'm very excited for this show. They haven't come out with a trailer for it yet, so I don't really know much about it. I just know that it's about a janitor and I believe aliens are taking over the world and so this janitor is fighting the aliens. That's all I really know. But I don't need to know anything. All I need to know about the show is Josh Hodgerson's in it. And this is one of my, I think, most anticipated shows for the fall season. But this is premiering on Hulu on November 14th. And there you have it, my fall TV schedule. Oh, I hope you guys watch some of these shows with me and we can talk about them and it'll be really fun. And I, of course, will let you know the ones that I like and don't like. Probably in my wrap-ups is when I'll talk about those. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys again soon.